2 Samuel chapter 16. And when David was a little past the top of the hill, behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of asses saddled, and upon them two hundred loaves of bread, and a hundred bunches of raisins, and a hundred of the summer fruits, and a bottle of wine. And the king said unto Ziba, What meanest thou by these? And Ziba said, The asses be for the king's household to ride on, and the bread and the summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine that such as be faint in the wilderness may drink. And the king said, And where is thy master's son? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he abideth at Jerusalem. For he said, Today shall the house of Israel restore me the kingdom of my father. Then said the king to Ziba, Behold, thine are all that, all that pertained unto Mephibosheth. And Ziba said to, I humbly beseech thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, my, my lord, O king. And when King David came to Barim, behold, thence came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimi, the son of Gera. He came forth and cursed still as he came. And he cast stones at David and all the servants of King David and the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And thus said Shimi, when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. The Lord hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Then said Abashi the son of Zariah unto the king, why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zariah? So let him curse, because the Lord hath said unto him, Curse David. Who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? And David said to a to Abishai, and to all the servants, Behold my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjaminite do it? Let him alone, and let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that the Lord will requite me good for this cursing this day. And, da and as David and his mid went by the way, Shimei went along on the hillside over against him, and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dust. And the king and all the people that were with him came wary, and refreshed themselves there. And Absalom and all the people, the men of Israel, came to Jerusalem, and Ahitharpal with him. And it came to pass, when Hushai, the archite, David's friend, was come unto Absalom, that Hushai said unto Absalom, God save the king, God save the king. And Absalom said to Hushai, Is this thy kindness to thy friend? Why wantest thou not with thy friend? And Hushai said unto Absalom, Nay, but whom the Lord and this people and the men of Israel choose, this will I be, and with him will I abide. And again, whom should I serve? Should I not serve the presence of, in the presence of his son, as I have served in thy father's presence? So will I be in thy presence. And then Absalom to Iathophel, Iathophel, give counsel among you what, what we should do. And Athiophel said unto Absalom, Go in unto thy father's concubines, which he has left to keep the house. And all Israel shall hear that thou art aboard of thy father. Then shall the hands of that are with thee be strong. So they spread Absalom and ten upon the top of the house. And Absalom went in unto his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. And the counsel of Athiaphel, which is the counsel in those days, was as if a man had inquired at the oracle of God. So was all the counsel of Athiaphel, both with David and with Absalom.
Second Samuel chapter 16. 